Hello kittens! I have a very exciting video today. I went to Trader Joe's and I got every single Korean item that I could find and we're gonna try it out. I got inspired because the kimbap at Trader Joe's has been really popular. So popular that I went to two different Trader Joe's around my area and I couldn't find it. I called a few. They were sold out. It wasn't meant to be and also it's kimbap. It's not that hard to make or purchase at a Korean grocery store. I think I'm okay. I'll live without it. But we do have all of this. Woo! I think we're okay on food. Got the Korean style beef short ribs, also known as kairbi. I actually made this a few days ago with my own recipe that was really good. Go check that out. It's on TikTok and Instagram. I got the scallion pancakes, also known as pajeon. Pa means onion. Chon is basically this type of pancake. I got the bulgogi beef fried rice with kimchi, the beef bulgogi, the beef list bulgogi, cause options. I'm not gonna lie, unpopular opinion. I don't really like bulgogi. Oh brother, this guy stinks! To be honest, it's just a little too sweet for my liking, but I'm gonna keep an open mind when reviewing this, and especially the beefless one. I don't know how I feel about that. Gochujang vegetable stir fry, the chapche, which I've heard is actually really good. Trader Joe's kimchi. I've only bought my kimchi at a Korean store. Like this is how much I eat in like one meal. I already know I'm not gonna like it, but we'll see, we'll see. And last but not least, we have the tteokbokki, the Korean spicy stir fried rice cakes. I have a lot to owe tteokbokki. If you didn't know, I was in a BuzzFeed A-pop video where I tasted three people's tteokbokki and based on the dish alone, I went on a date with them. Wait. I look like this right now. And that catapulted me into Big Brother, into all of this mess, so. Tteokbokki has a very special place in my heart. I have not eaten anything and it's 521 because I knew I was gonna be making all this. So I'm very hungry. Let's make everything. Oh, Hillary, what do you wanna try first? What's the option? Girl, did you not just hear me say all that? No. We have beef bulgogi. Beef list bulgogi. Carby. Bulgogi beef fried rice and kimchi. Kimchi tache. Pajan. Okay, I want the kaibi too. I heard from my Korean friend that has a Korean mother that this kaibi is actually really good. So we'll put her to the test because I think I make pretty good kaibi. To thaw. For quick thawing, submerge the ribs in the original bag in cold water for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. Oh, I gotta put it on a skillet? Well, duh. Let me thaw this first and then I could cook something else while we wait. Ooh, I don't think we have rice. Ugh, microwavable rice it is. A disgrace. Got a bowl, gonna fill it up with water. I got my bowl of water to thaw. Well, yes. Well, yes. Damn, I gotta do a lot. I did not think this through. It's okay. I'm preheating the oven so I can make my pajan. You could also do it on the stove top to saute it, but I don't really wanna do all that. I'm gonna just leave it in the oven while I kinda cook everything else. Cause I gotta do a lot of stuff in the oven. This I can do in the microwave. This I'm gonna do it on the stove top. This I Oven, microwave, stove top, slay! First, wash your hands. Wash my hands. We're good. The tofuki, you have your rice cakes. If y'all ever have gotten tooth gems, sometimes they have those like cylinder cotton thingies to put in your mouth. This kind of looks like that. And then you have your sauce packet, convenient. Add a cup of water and contents of the sauce packet into a small saucepan. Bloop. Ooh. Bring to a boil, yada, 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 yada. See, the scary thing about Korean food is that it's so red, I can never wear white because I will fuck it up. All right. It's not bad, actually. So we have the water in the sauce. Yeah, you can't see it, but trust me, it's in there. I'm letting that go on medium heat. Opening up the beefless bulgogi. Oh. Yum. I have a baking tray I just washed and I'm gonna put the beefless bulgogi and the pajeon in the oven. My favorite Korean dish of all time is just a simple pork belly wrap or a sam. Oh, it's the best. I don't know if y'all knew this about me, but I actually didn't eat red meat for like six years or something. I was in kind of high school into college. I don't even 
even know why I did it to be honest I just wanted to see if I could do it for a little bit and then it kind of became habit and then it kind of became where my body got so used to it that if I ate a burger for example my stomach would hurt so then I just stopped doing it but then Korean barbecue got super popular and I love pork belly pork belly is definitely my favorite and then my second favorite is definitely kairi I love marinated short ribs so yummy so tender so juicy mm, melt in your mouth oh it's 3 a.m i'm still editing ignore this lighting anyway could you imagine if i was like a prestigious food critic like that bitch from ratatouille and i'm like mm, melt in my mouth so juicy so tender and that was it <laughs> really excited to go to korea and eat good korean barbecue i haven't had all you can eat korean barbecue in a while because i've been doing more plates chef special things like that and actually korea doesn't really even do all you can eat like they do like by portion anyway so i'm really excited to eat some pork belly opening up opened up the safe oh this is what it looks like this beef is scary my oven is preheated perfect i'm gonna throw this in let me show you what the topoki looks like right now. She's boiling. Let me give her a good little cutie mix. And then I'm gonna throw in the rice cakes. Ooh, I see some sesame seeds. Before I forget, let me also put, let me put eight minutes. Eight minutes on the clock for the oven goodies. What's next? Oh God, this looks demented. It looks like a brain. It looks like something else too. I'm gonna throw this in the microwave for five minutes. My tteokbokki is boiling, so let me put the rice cakes. Ah! Hee hee. Okay, we're doing pretty well. I'm really excited for the kaibi. I think those are actually going to be pretty decent from what I've heard. The tteokbokki, I'm not sure. Let's check on that. Pretty much everything's around like the 5 to 10 minute mark. So for a quick little meal, it's not bad. So I'm using this pan because it matches my outfit. And I thought it was super cute because it's pink. Let there be... Light! Fire! Anyway, what's y'all's favorite Korean food? I do like Korean barbecue, don't get me wrong, but there's so much more Korean food than just Korean barbecue that I feel like people are slowly starting to know, but haven't really gotten around to like trying it. But my favorite is spicy braised chicken stew. So good, so hearty. I love a good stew. It has chicken, gochujang, gochukaru, like red pepper paste and dried red pepper flakes. It has potatoes, I put carrots. Oh! And it's my favorite thing to eat and my favorite thing to make. And I make it damn good. Out of the ones that I've tried, I'm probably up there. My grandma makes a really good one, but we just have different cooking styles. Like I make mine like more like a stew. So it's like thicker and she makes hers more like a broth, like a soup, I guess. It's ready. Why do we not have real gloves? I'm just raw dog. <laughs> so we're gonna let this sit for like a few minutes so I don't burn my mouth. Oh my God. We'll do the chop -che. I've also heard good things about this chop -che. Three minutes. Ooh, the tteokbokki is bubbling. It's very umami. It's very umami. Wow, it's not looking bad. And it smells like real tteokbokki. If you're walking the streets of Korea and you pass a street food vendor, it smells just like that. She's in there, she's cooking. This is what the bulgogi looks like. I'll do a whole reveal later. But tteokbokki also has a special place in my heart because it's one of the first, if not the first Korean recipe that I learned. My dad really likes making it and he's really good at it and he loves eating it. He used to eat a lot of street food as a kid so tteokbokki reminds him of childhood. It's the first thing that I learned how to make when I was younger. I had a little journal where it was like my cookbook. I wrote down little recipes and I was following exactly what he did, except he made his too spicy. And as like a 10 year old, I couldn't handle that, but now I definitely could. Ooh! Now that's done. This is what it looks like. The pajon doesn't look crispy. I might throw it in the oven a little bit longer. I think it's still a little frozen. Let me. Back in the oven it goes. The chapcha is done and ready. It smells like chapcha. It's so cold! What the hell? I'm gonna move this to a bowl. Throw it in here, cover it up, put it in the microwave. 
The sauce in the tteokbokki is getting thicker, so it's actually looking pretty good. The chapchae just came out and it's pretty steaming hot now. The scallion pancake and the beefless bulgogi seems to be pretty done. It's almost time to eat. I'm gonna put the stir fry in a different container so I can microwave it. Nice. The carby should be all thawed out. Ooh, okay, see, this now looks pretty good. You could even do this outside on a grill or like a cast iron skillet is preferable. I don't have that here, so I'm gonna just use a frying pan, but just know, if I had the choice, I would do this on a cast iron skillet. Ooh, that sizzle. Ooh, this actually looks so good though. I'm really surprised. I'm gonna say an unpopular Korean food opinion. I don't like naengmyeon. I never liked it. I don't like buckwheat noodles. I think they taste weird. They're hard to chew. I've choked on them so many times. I don't like it. Sorry. Like, I know people like it and I get it. It's refreshing. It's cold noodles. I get it. Our fried rice is also ready. This reminds me of when you would order food delivery in Korea, especially if you order like jajangmyeon or naengmyeon, like black bean noodles or spicy seafood noodles. They come in like plastic like this super hot, right out your door in a silver container. If you're Korean, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but mwah, oh, I miss Korea. Let her cook. If you make the kaibi, make sure you thaw it properly, unlike me. Cut, 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 cut. it's getting hot in here. If any chefs are watching me, I know they're screaming. Probably I'm screaming, yelling, doing this too. This is not what I typically do, but you live and you learn. After some trial and tribulation, we got the carby. It's looking real good. That char is kind of impressive. The carby smells great, actually. All right. Yeah, it's kind of good. I know. So we got our full spread. It's actually looking pretty good. I'm actually pretty surprised. Actually looking pretty good. Except this kimchi is scaring me. Wow. Welcome to the kitchen, my Korean sister. Whee! Yay! We are such different vibes right now. I know. <laughs> Korean word of the day. Chokara. Chopsticks. What are you most excited about eating? Kaibi. This is bulgogi fried rice with kimchi. Oh, okay. Except this doesn't even look we'll like say, bulgogi. Yeah, and also the rice is kind of like orange almost. I feel like it should be more red or more pigmented. Right. Cheers. Mmm. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'm just hungry. It needs salt. It needs kimchi. <laughs> It's kind of flavorless. I know. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. No, it's actually not bad. Not bad. Mm. That's a kimchi at least. The Trader Joe's kimchi. Ew. Wait, what is that? Mm -mm. Ew, I'm spitting it out. Uh -uh. It looks so gross. Ew. Kimchi, what? It tastes like sauerkraut? Mm -mm, absolutely that not. That is crazy. Absolutely not. Negative. I'm gonna give that a negative. To hell. Rancid. Rancid. The carby, I'll give it a nine. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty cheap. It's accessible because it's in Trader Joe's. For what it is, it's pretty good. I accept this. The fried rice, what do you give it? I give it a five. I, I was gonna give it a five too. She has potential, but she's not quite there yet. But. I would definitely like season this on my own too, outside yeah. of the packaging. The bulgogi doesn't taste like typical bulgogi. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, but it doesn't taste like bulgogi. Yeah, it doesn't taste like bulgogi. I'm not the biggest fan of bulgogi either. Me neither. So honestly, this kind of tastes better to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it kind of tastes a little more like kanye asada than mm -hmm. it is bulgogi. Yeah, completely agree. I'll give that a 7 out of 10. I know, kind of good. Kind of good. I'll, I'll eat that. This is the vegetable stir fry with gochujang. Gochujang where? I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I just put a big chunk of that meat mm -hmm. and it was so yummy mm -hmm. and then that just ruined it. Gochujang where? I just saw it. Like visually you could tell there was like- There's nothing. No red, no spice, nothing. Just goopy vegetables. Ah, uh, 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 I don't like any of it. <laughs> the kimchi was worse. Yeah, yeah. The that kimchi I is literally like had to spit that out. That was crazy. Kimchi is Satan's asshole. This is two. Like the pokey as a cleanser, maybe. Mmm, it is not bad. It's actually pretty sweet. I could tell there's a little bit of like a back of throat spiciness, but it's actually pretty sweet. 
No umami. I said the same joke, sue me. <laughs> I don't think I like that. I think it's okay. I would give it a six out of 10. Yeah, I'll agree. I think it's a bit too sweet. It is a bit too sweet. Honestly, there's some street vendors in Korea that makes their tteokbokki pretty sweet. Yeah. That's like pretty similar to this, so. That's true. I also prefer a little more savory, a little more spicy, but it's not bad. What is that? It's beefless bulgogi. Oh, mm. interesting. This is what it looks like. <laughs> I'm scared! I'm so sorry. It's not bad. I feel like I've been doing that. I think it's really off putting. It is a little off putting. All things considered, for something vegan, mm -hmm. I don't think it's bad at all. Would I buy this again? Absolutely not. There's better options even as a vegan. I'm eating another one. It's not bad. It's like the between of like and it's not bad. Whatever that in between is. I don't mind it. Don't talk to me about that one. The B plus um, one, I'll give it a four. That's a two for me. Okay, next. Chop chip. Mm hmm. Chapcha is so easy to make. Have I ever made it? No, but I do know it's really easy to make. Hmm. Very good. It tastes like chapcha. Mm -hmm. It needs a little bit of salt, to be honest. I like it. It's good. I like it too. The chapcha, I'll give it a 7.5. 7 7.5. I agree, 7.5. Next, pajan. Cheers. Mmm, mm, that's really good. I like that. I'll give that a 9. Now we're weighing it, alright? The test is weighted. Carby is a 10. The pageant is a 9. That's pretty good. I'm going for a second. Hillary's leaving. I'm gonna stay here and still eat and talk. What is your ranking? Final thoughts. I would give the Carby a 9. The Purugogi a 7. Even though it doesn't taste like Purugogi, I still thought it tasted just good in general. Tteokbokki a 6. The rice a 5. Chapche 7.5. Beefless purgogi, a two. Pajon, an eight. I, I liked it a lot. Kimchi, negative. Absolute bedrock level. That shit was disgusting. If that's your first time eating kimchi, ooh, I'm really not. try it again. That's not right. That's not correct. This was fun. Thanks for having me and cooking all of this. Kyrie is one of those things, like chicken wings, you have to clean the bone. I just did the influencer thing. I'm like, so today, but clean the bone. Wow, that's a lot of food. Even though I made this pageant in the oven, because typically I would use a stove top, right? If I wasn't cooking like 17 things at once, I would use a stove top to cook the pageant. For the oven, it's crispy. It's good. You hear that? It's pretty damn crunchy. A crispy egg, a soft middle. More work than it out for. Genius, beautiful. That kimchi is actually so atrocious. It's so sour. Like, it's not kimchi. It's literally sauerkraut. I like sauerkraut. When I'm eating that and I expect it to be kimchi, something that I'm very familiar with, like to the point where I want a kimchi tattoo, to the point where my name is Spicy Kimchi Diva, uh uh, that ain't it. Whoever invented that at Trader Joe's, you're so wrong. You're going to hell. By the way, chapche is potato noodles, sweet potato noodles, glass potato noodles. Whatever. So it's glass potato noodles. It has a really nice texture. And honestly, this does too. Like, I'm really not mad at that. And there's a lot of color and veggies. The whole thing. I'm full. I'm basically doing a mukbang. For what it's worth, Trader Joe's Korean food is not that bad. Would I recommend it over going to H Mart or another Korean grocery store and getting food there? Absolutely not. I'm not demented. I would never lead you astray. But if you're in a pinch, you want to try something new? Trader Joe's Korean food, not bad. Kaibi, really not bad. I would actually recommend that. Over Korean Kaibi, no. But this is actually a lot more affordable, I believe. Korean Kaibi, LA Kaibi, in H Mart can actually rack up. Like, it can be pretty expensive. Trader Joe's Carby, not bad. This Pajon scallion pancake, so good. It's so good. Dip it in a little soy sauce and chili oil. Mwah, 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 mwah. I love Korean food. While I'm here, and we're, while we're talking about Korean food and whatnot, I've been seeing this like Discord on TikTok. 
people are calling out media outlets because Japan and Korea, especially right now, very marketable. So a lot of things that aren't even Korean or Japanese are being marketed as Korean or Japanese because they want more views on it, they want more people to engage with it, whatever, whatever. These brands and whatever are calling, for example, Tanghulu Doyen makeup Korean or Japanese. They're saying like the Korean sweet treat or the Korean style makeup, which Korean style makeup and Japanese style makeup do exist, but it's not doyen makeup. And people are referring to doyen makeup as Korean makeup. And I've been seeing that a lot. And I just think that's a really interesting topic because it all derives from China, but because China is not marketable in the sense that people have a negative connotation around it where like if you have a clothing brand or whatever and it's made from China like people automatically assume that it's going to be cheap or poor quality when in reality it's actually very high quality and very affordable. I think that's just a very interesting discourse on TikTok right now because it really is showing people xenophobia and it's really, really making apparent that people don't know what they're talking about and still merging the Asian countries together as if we're one homogenous culture that have no differences between each other. Korean makeup, Japanese makeup, Chinese makeup have similar qualities for sure and so does our food, right? We have a lot of like Korean and Chinese fusion food such as jajangmyeon, jampo, things of that nature people are still uh, in 2024 meshing the asian countries together people are taking away from chinese culture that has so much history behind it and repurposing it and marketing it as korean or japanese culture so it could be more favorable to white people and i don't like it i'm not about it all the asian countries we have vastly different histories vastly different cultures vastly different foods makeups everything so just want to say and that's tea. I'm very full and surprisingly pretty satisfied for what it's worth. My final ranking is Kyrie's number one. The pajan is number two. Purgogi has to be my number three. I do like the tonpoki, the chapche, pretty even for me. And then everything else can go to hell. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a really fun one. I want to make more content like this, especially around food, because as y'all know, I love to cook and taste food and eat food and do anything with food. So if you like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!